Welcome to the Heal Your Hunger Show, where we get to the heart of why you overeat and how to stop. If you struggle with food and weight like I did, welcome home. Welcome to the Heal Your Hunger Show. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm recording uh, from my satellite office in San Diego. (laughs) What that really means is I'm at an Airbnb in San Diego. I'm attending a training and I'm I'm here in my um, my room and I wanted to get this message out to you as soon as possible because this is a game changer for your relationship. If there's any relationship in your life that you want to improve, you want to make a difference and really touch somebody's heart, this is it. Okay, so listen closely. And this is tried and proved. I've literally just done this in the last 24 hours. And um, and it's I'm telling you, it's it was an amazing experience. So I want to share it with you. If there's somebody in your life that, uh, you know, things are a little rocky or or they're just not where you want them to be, uh, whether it's a spouse or a parent or a child, um, if you want to really get through to somebody and let them know how much you love them, how much you appreciate them, how important they are to you, this exercise is going to be a game changer for you. Now, I'll tell you how it came about for me. Um, I was uh, speaking with a friend about my relationship with my husband. And, you know, I have a very adoring, loving husband. Um, And when I'm busy, I don't always let him know how much I care about him and appreciate him. And so he ends up feeling a little neglected, a little overlooked, a little like he doesn't matter. Well, Um, you know, this is not good, (laughs) not only for him, but for me as well, Uh, because it starts to weigh on me. This little voice in the back of my head says, you know, Trisha, you're too busy. You're doing too much and uh, things aren't good. And he also lets me know. So it's not only a little voice in my head. It's a little voice coming out of his mouth. And he lets me know, hey, you know, what am I, sloppy seconds? And so, you know, when he says this and I think, I know, I know I need to do better. I need to schedule more time, you know, uh, just alone time with my hubby. I need to pay more attention. I need to put down my phone when I'm talking to him so I'm not distracted. You know, I know all these things, but I don't always do them. And so what happens is this little um, guilt starts to build up inside of me where I feel bad. I feel guilty. I feel um, not clean with myself, you know, and my commitments, you know, I'm, I'm married. I made a commitment to love and cherish this man and I'm not holding up to that commitment. So my friend challenged me to sing, to write and sing a song for my husband. And I took the challenge. And as I said, there's a little out there. What I did is I, uh, first of all, and this is what I want you to do. I'm challenging you. If you're listening to this, consider yourself challenged. Okay. Who is it that you want to reach? Whose heart do you want to touch? You know, what relationship needs a little, um, a, a little shine, you know, needs a little polish and a little shining. It's gotten a little dull. This is a great exercise. And if you actually do this, if you do this, I'm going to give you a prize. And I'll tell you at the end what the prize is and how you can uh, get your prize. So what I did is I wrote a list first of all the qualities I love about my husband. I just, I just boom, 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 listed them out, all the different things about him. He's generous. He kind, he's, he's kind. He puts gas in my uh, car uh, so I can have gas the next day. He uh, makes doctor's appointments for me when I'm busy. He, um, he adores me. He brings a, a, a light to any room he walks into. Um, he touches people's hearts. He makes people feel good. All these amazing qualities about my husband um, that I love, his sense of humor. Well, I wrote all these down. And then I found a song that had a tune that um, I knew he would like. And my husband's a country music uh, lover, a classical country music level, lover. So not the later stuff in the 90s and, and, uh, and forward. He's into the oldies, the you know, 40s and 50s and 60s. So, um, so I found a song that I knew that I, that I could sing the tune to, you know, make up a song with lyrics to this song uh, or the track of this song. And what I chose is I Saw the Light, uh, written by Hank Williams. It's been sung by many country music um, stars, but 
It was written by Hank, uh, Hank Williams Jr., I believe, and, uh, or maybe, se- no, Sr. Um, I'm totally probably botching that. But anyway, I saw The Light. Who doesn't know that song? It's a beautiful song. So I knew the tune. So I found the track on, um, at first I found the lyrics on, uh, I Googled the lyrics. So I found, uh, sort of how it's set up, you know, there's a stand, there's a, um, you know, a stanza and then there's the refrain and there uh, refrain and uh, another stanza, another refrain. Um, and so basically what I did is I created a song, uh, to the, using that layout of the song and the music. Then I found the soundtrack for the music on YouTube where it was just the music and not the words. It's like a karaoke thing. So you could see the words running, um, on a, you know, uh, it just, uh, was running across the screen, um, but no words. And then I practice, oh boy, oh boy, I'd have to practice because this, this song, uh, turns out after I'd written the whole thing, <laughs> the song, um, and I wrote it using all the different aspects of him that I love. So I just basically just made the lyrics based on all the things that I love about him. I didn't fit them all in, but, but I uh, got a good number of them in. And then I practiced online playing this, the music and singing the song. And I had to keep changing octaves because uh, you know, it was too high at times for me and too low at times for me. So I had to switch from higher to lower octaves, which is a little tricky, but it worked out. And, but I had to practice. I had to keep going from one to the other, switching octaves. And then, um, and then what I did, because I'm, I'm away, as I got him on a video call, it could have been Skype, but I used Zoom. Uh, this we use for my coaching, uh, my coaching clients, we all get on a Zoom call. And so um, I use that same technology and I sent him the link and I said, hey, uh, jump on Zoom. I have something for you. And I used the words on my screen and the music on my screen. And I played the music and, and sang the words to him. And oh boy, oh boy, was he touched. He cried. He cried. He literally cried cried twice because I forgot to record it the first time and I wanted a recording of it. So I recorded it a second time and he cried. And um, and boy, it just, it filled my heart with so much joy and his was so much love. And he just felt so special and so touched. And And for me, it was so lovely to think about the beautiful qualities that he has and, and how much I love him. And so it was just a really special experience and one I would never have done had I not been challenged. Trust me, (laughs) I was way outside my comfort zone. Um, but it was so fun and creatively it was a blast to write, you know, lyrics, um, you know, using words that rhyme like light and, and flight and night and, you know, um, all these different things. And, and it was just really a lovely experience and got me out of myself, got me out of my usual, you know, work mode. And, um, and just, I was able to have fun and he was so touched. And so this is my challenge to you, you know, whether it's a poem or a song, um, or something other, some other, a little skit, uh, some other creative thing you can do, um, but go for the song because in the song you get to express words, like literally, you, you get to uh, uh, really highlight the things about um, your, you know, your wonderful person um, and they get to hear it. They get to hear the things that you appreciate them. Um, and you can do that in a poem as well. But I, I challenge you to go for the song and just sing the song. You don't have to be on tune. I don't have a great voice, but, um, but it's just so fun. And if you do this, remember I said I have a prize for you. If you do this, I ask that you record it. Okay, so you can do it on um, you know, your computer. You can do it on your phone. But record yourself doing this and email it to me. Okay, email it to me at, um, at uh, let's see, uh, you can email it to info at healyourhunger.com. Okay, email this to me and I will send you um, my book, my book, Heal Your Hunger, Seven Simple Steps to End Emotional Eating Now. So this is, this is a challenge. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will say, oh, that's a good idea and never do it. Um, and I'm sorry if you do, because you're going to miss out on a golden opportunity 
to spread love, share love and feel love in your heart. And, you know, time flies and life is short. And if you don't do this now, when you're being challenged and reminded, when will you do it? Probably never. So I challenge you now, go ahead, write that song, sing that song and watch the love uh, between you and the person you love grow. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a review on iTunes. And if you want more information about uh, how you can heal your hunger, go to healyourhunger.com. Thanks so much. I love you so much. And I can't wait to see who steps up to the plate and takes this challenge. You will be forever changed for it. And I can't wait to share this joy with you and to celebrate you when you do it. Thanks so much. You take care. If you enjoyed this show and want to get free support, insider health info, exclusive invites to events, and more, visit HealYourHunger.com.